second day in a row I boot up this game and the servers are down. It's a good thing I don't need the internet to make these videos. What's up internet? My name is Attack Slug and welcome back to my Let's Play of the 2K16 My Career Mode Ebenezer's Revenge. We got a tag team match today, player. Holla holla. Fighting Curtis Axel and Damien Sandow, Damien Mizdow, whatever. Let's get right into this tag team as we are on the road to WrestleMania. Main event of the SmackDown is Kevin Owens, John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Mark Henry. Like, what? Sure, why not? Anyway, uh, still tag team partner with Adam Rose for whatever ungodly reason. Welcome to Tuesday. It is cold here in New Jersey. It is below freezing again, which is weird. Because two days ago, it was in, the, in, like, in like the mid-60s. Like, the weather has just been just this up, down, up, down, up, down. And it's like, you know, almost like Xavier Woods' YouTube channel. Uh, it has just been all over the place. But uh, I am trying to stay warm as I do these videos uh, and make them happen, etc., etc. So, I want to say we fought Curtis Axel and somebody before in a tag team match. I don't actually remember but we're off to a poor start here on this tuesday so being tuesday obviously raw happened last night and obviously like always i have not watched it yet but like always uh it is impossible to ignore things that happened on raw because if you're on any kind of social media you're gonna hear about it so yes i know that brock lesnar was there and yes i know that the new u.s champion is callisto and, uh, yes, I know that obviously beforehand they announced the first inductee to the 2016 Hall of Fame. It's going to be the Stinger. So, those are all the things that I heard, uh, from yesterday. Now, the Sting stuff is interesting considering how many matches he's actually had in WWE, which is not many. So, it's occasionally... Occasionally... WWE likes to induct guys who, who are important to the business, and certainly, the fuck was that? And certainly you would classify Sting as being important to the overall wrestling business. So I understand it from that perspective, you know, like they've gotten guys, like older guys who, you know, perhaps were big in the a AWA uh, uh, and that kind of thing. So that's not surprising uh, in by, you know, but just... The actual, like, looking at, if you want to look at his actual, like, win-loss record, it's just kind of funny. It's like, yeah, but, damn it. Neckbreaker. Uh, fun fact, though. Fun fact. Sting is literally the first guy to be in both the TNA and WWE Hall of Fame classes. Because there aren't that many guys in the TNA Hall of Fame. It's Sting, it's Jeff Jarrett, it's Kurt Angle, uh, it's the Dudleys, and I think that's it? Maybe somebody else. There were like four guys and one tag team. That was, that was it. So, yeah, there's that. But Sting's the first one, and obviously, at some point down the road, they have to in induct Kurt Angle into the Hall of Fame. There's no way that they, that, they, that they can't. Like, he was such a big part of that stuff for so long that, yeah, he spent the last, you know however many years in TNA, but man, if you don't bring him back for that Hall of Fame class for WWE, like, what the fuck are you even doing, you know? If, if you're gonna induct Sting, who was in TNA forever, then certainly you can induct Kurt Angle at some point, so... That should be fun. Anyway. Terminating Spike. So, I switched back. I switched back my table move, right? So my table move is now back to what it was originally, which is the sit-out last ride powerbomb, which is what was causing all of the glitching... Oh, the fuck was that? Hey, Adam Rose, want to give me a hand here? Kind of having a problem. Seriously, Adam Rose, what are you doing? You are the worst. This was a bad idea. Uh. Yeah, no, no, not. Damn it! I don't want to go back in the ring, Curtis asshole. Uh. Fuck face. That's what you get. 
Jason Sandow's debut in 2012, and I remember as one of the broadcasters of that match, you could hear people all the way throwing verbal insults at him. Yeah. To his credit, Damian Sandow has ignored his critics, and I'm asked an impressive record. There we go, okay. Now let's see if it glitches out or not. There goes JBL's hat. All right. Okay, it worked this time. Okay. Whatever that patch did, they fixed it. Boom. That shit's great. Oh my gosh. It's just a matter of time. Now watch him get up and no sell it. That was a last ride sit out powerbomb through a table. You should not be able to meet a standing 10 count by any stretch of the... Any, and, and he will. And he totally will. Look at the drama. Watch him run in. Yep. Look at the drama. And then he reversed my fucking spear. And I was going to tag out. To the very fresh. You know what? Fine. I'll tag out as well. Adam Rose, don't fuck this up. Spoiler. He's probably going to fuck it up. Woo! I just chop kicked my partner. I was trying to get out of the ring. Uh... If I hit the touch pad, can I play as Adam Rose? I think I can. Alright. Perhaps I don't have to rely... No. No, I can't. I thought I could. I'll try it again. Pressing the touch pad does nothing. Damn it. Why won't it let you control your tag team partner in a tag team match? Like, I understand, oh, well, you're going to have to have a tag team and that kind of stuff, but come on now. Dear video game, please be more of a video game, I guess is my uh, complaint there. Adam Rose, you are... Whoa, into the, into the announced team. Curtis Axel, what has gotten into you? Hey, Curtis Axel! Don't be beating up my tag team partner, you motherfucker. Curtis Axel, a house of fire. Well, I can't get counted out, so let's do one of these. Eat it. I'll make him get counted out. I don't fucking give a shit. Oh, god damn it. Alright. Let's regain our stamina here. Anyway, yeah, so uh, I don't know that there's much else to discuss with what's going on outside of, you know, the Sting Hall of Fame stuff. Uh, so, good for him. Uh, you would imagine in Texas, perhaps they'll also induct the fabulous Freebirds. Uh, but the reason that, that they had to announce Sting this early is because the tickets go on sale for that event, for that Hall of Fame thing, uh, I think this Friday. So obviously, you gotta get out at least one name before you start trying to sell tickets. You gotta have somebody in there, because you're not gonna buy tickets then, when you don't know who's gonna be there, like, wh why would you buy, you know, buy anything, so... Although, obviously, there are some folks who, you know, they buy the entire package, you know, of, of the Hall of Fame, Mania, Access, Raw. You know, there's a whole package that you can buy for, you know, a couple of grand uh, that will get you into everything. Uh, which, you know, certainly is, if you're, if you're gonna go for Mania Weekend, you fucking do it big, right? You fucking, you, you go to everything, uh, because... That's, like, the experience, and, uh, not a thing that I've done, because I haven't had the money. Uh, even when Mania was in New Jersey, in Giant Stadium, I was flat fucking broke. So, I was like, nope. I want to say that, uh, the Twins went, and I think that was, I don't remember if Grim went or not. I can't, I, I can't recall. He might have. Uh, but I know for sure Rod and Todd went. Um, and... They, they were mad uh, because they didn't go. They they didn't get tickets to Raw the next night, and that was the Raw that that crowd won a Slammy, and they're still mad about that. Which is real funny. One count on Curtis Axel, who has a signature. Not that I'm gonna let him do it. Not that I would know what Curtis Axel's signature is anyway. Like seriously. Like I'm sure he has a. He, I'm sure he also has a finishing move, but could you tell me off the top of your head what is Curtis Axel's finishing move? No, I don't think you can, because he doesn't win matches, because he's Curtis Axel, the Axe Man. Oh wait, does, does, does he just do the does he does he just do the perfect plex? Is that, is that his finisher? That makes sense. I mean, of course you're going to give him the perfect plex. 
and then you pin. Counter ref. That's it. We're done here. We're not done here. God damn it. I had it all scouted out. I had it all perfect. And the axe man foils me. Foils me. What are you doing, Damien Sandow? Referee! Referee! What are you pointing at? Yeah! Oh. Well, my tag team partner did his job, so I can't I can't fault him on that. What? Okay. What are you doing, Axe Man? What are you doing, Axe Man? He's doing all right. So his, so basically, yes, he basically is using all of his dad's moves. Like that's, yeah. And then I was gonna have a thing with Lana, which is funny. Lana is continuing to pay dividends uh, for the tag out. He's got a finisher, and he tags out. Curtis Axel is the dumbest man on the planet. So dumb. So dumb. Alright, well, let's go do a big fat flop, let's do one of these, and then, I don't know why Adam Rose, what are you doing Lana? Lana, put the table down, put, put the stairs down, what the hell are you doing? Alright, here we go, this is going to be it. I hit pin, what the hell, it's supposed to be a, you hit pin when you're, whatever. What? Mizdow kicks out of that? What? Uh, how many moves do I need to take you down? Seriously. Also, I didn't want to bring you into the center of the ring. That makes it harder to pin you. I'm literally holding circle and it's not like... The prompt is there. Punch you in the face. The, the prompt is there, and I'm hitting it, and the game's like, nah, son. Mizdow is just... I'm just gonna keep on ha Circle! You... Counter F. Just trying every opportunity to make Mizdow lose. But... Here's the unfortunate part. Every successful kick out is giving him more, uh, more moves. Ah, crap. Oh, they both have finishers. This is bad. This is bad. Is he gonna try to pin me? Really? Uh, ref's not counting because Lana continuing to pay dividends. Alright, I enjoy having a manager. That makes this game even easier. Uh, but we didn't get the elbow of disdain, and now we get the axe man coming on in here to uh, attempt to, I guess, give us a perfect plex, but I'm not going to let it happen, because now I've got my signature. We're going to the top here for a 6... 640? 630? Woo! Pin him! Counter ref! I like how Mizdow was just like, couldn't be bothered. To get to, he was right there. He's like, ah, well, we're losers anyway, so who cares? He could not be bothered. Lana doesn't high five. What the hell is that? High fives. That's real funny. That is, it's like generic manager animation. Yeah. Woo, woo. Like what? The fuck even was that? Yeah, yeah, we did it. Yeah, like that's so dumb. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Look, look at Lana in heels, getting up on the ropes in heels. That's real funny. And thankfully, they, they actually managed to not have the announce table be there because we fucking broke it. So, instant classic. Really? Instant classic? Okay. But authority order failed. I used too much stamina. Whatever. Alright, that rolls us into Monday at Monday Night Raw. And they want us to do a four-star match with Kevin Owens... On Raw, we still has not confirmed our mystery opponent, uh, and I'm gonna assume that's gonna be Sting. But you know, it could be anybody. It could be the Shockmaster. And honestly, 
Uh, I'm going to put this off until tomorrow, only because I have more videos to film today, and uh, those need to get done. Uh, so, my apologies if this one is a little bit short, but, you know, these things happen. Uh, so, t tomorrow, though. Well, tomorrow is going to be my raw reaction, so perhaps it'll be short there, too. But tomorrow, we're going to fight Kevin Owens. Uh, it is it's a mirror match, almost. Uh, but until then, until next time, I am Attack Slug. This has been my, been my Let's Play of 2K16, my career. Uh, this is like episode like 53 or 54. We're getting up there, uh, considering that our last, the, the 2K15, my career was only 62 episodes. So we are nowhere near being done. So I guess look forward to more of these and more fun uh, and more videos right here on this channel. And I am out.